G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a double barrel rifle. This thing may look exactly like a double barrel shotgun, and I suppose the uh, design principles here are similar, but this thing doesn't have 12 gauge shotgun shells. We've got 500 Nitro Express rounds, which are big, big bullets, around the same size as a 50 BMG, but a little bit less pointy. I'll, I'll show them to you in a second because there's a stock bearer that has them sort of sitting on the side. Another thing you could call this thing is potentially an elephant gun because the purpose of these weapons is for those big brave game hunters that bring giant rifles to kill animals and what you want to have at your side when a giant bear is charging at you is something with a lot of stopping power that might stop the bear or perhaps an elephant. So a little 9mm oil might kill the bear, that thing's not going to stop it instantly. If it gets shot with a Nitro Express, maybe it's going to have a second thought before it goes at you again, or maybe it won't have that second thought. So that's how these things work. Going against dudes with automatic rifles might prove a little bit of a difficulty, so we might have to be a little bit unaggressive and just snipe things with this, but we'll have to see how we go. We'll get into the attachments first of all, and basically we've just got the standard stuff that you'd find on many vanilla weapons. Calibrated Powerful is very tempting. Maybe we'll chuck that on a different one. But we'll go for the advanced receiver here just to get the uh, 473 damage. That's the highest we can get with the receivers. Now, the barrels where well, it starts to get interesting because it'll actually tell you exactly what these things will do. And a lot of these have very similar effects. All of them have a 40% sided accuracy boost. The stuff where it changes is the stability. Not really worried about that and reduced recoil. Not really worried about any of that because you'll be firing two shots and reloading anyway, so it's not like the recoil is going to be problematic in sustained fire situations. The best one, I believe, it would be the light barrel because this one doesn't give a penalty on VAT's cost. That's very important. Next up, we've got the stocks and we can chuck the marksman stock on. All this will do is just give me slightly better recoil control and stability, so we even got that back after using the light barrel. And that's what the... Um, for 500 Nitro Express rounds look like. They're big. Almost said 45 Gov rounds because that's it reminds me of the uh, lever action rifle from the Far Harbor DLC with the uh, things on the side there. Now, I've got iron sights right now. You can chuck on glue sights if you want to use the iron sights, but in the dark a little bit more effectively. You'll get a little bit of accuracy. Kind of baited by this thing being 69. They've got the times 2 scope, which will reduce your VATS cost. So basically, this is your reflex sight in function. You get a little bit of a zoom in as well, which is neat. The 4 and 6 time scope look the same, but obviously zoom to the respective levels. And a 10 time scope will have a little bit more of a... It's, it's bigger on the end, because it zooms in further. Might be worth having uh, a weapon like this with a scope on it, just in case I get swarmed and, you know, want to sort of back away from my enemies before engaging them. That's probably the best idea. But for this one, I'm probably going to grab just a standard 4 time scope there. And we'll move on. Legendary effect is there if you need it. Something like instigating would be massive on this. Or two shot would be huge as well. But let's not do that. Got a damage modifier if we feel like it. Uh, they can only tune it to minus 10 and 25 through to 100 in... Mod it's, it's actually kind of all over the place. But th th those are your options. Not going to be using any of those. And you can change the wood furniture on it. Right now it's ebony. You can change it to red chestnut or special walnut. I think ebony looks the best. And plus it's a, it's a Skyrim reference. Because there's no such thing in ebony as real life. There's only ebony metals in Skyrim. Probably other games of the Elder Scrolls too. And we've got the chance to change these things. You can have them do a little bit of radiation damage. All of them will add a 50% armor penetration, but this will make it slightly better against humans. Not that much, because it still takes a thousand rads to kill someone, but, you know, if we want to do a bit of radiation damage on the side, then that's pretty helpful. And you can change the firing mode for a single trigger, which will fire one at a time, like a standard double barrel shotgun, or both triggers, which will fire them uh, basically at the same time. Almost simultaneously, but not really. There's a little bit of inaccuracy, but this is much better for the DPS, and it'll increase the rate of fire, which is nice. It does add VATS cost, though. So we'll keep that in mind when we go ahead and make a calibrated version of this, because I think using this thing in VATS is going to be the way I have to do it, because reloading every two shots when I might not even get a kill with a full magazine might cause issues, but that's one of them. We'll make another one, and then we'll get out of here. 
All right, so here we are in Gunners Plaza, and this is what the double barrel rifle looks like in first person. Almost said double barrel shotgun. That might happen during this video, and if it does, you'll just have to deal with it. So the scoped one, and this one with the reflex sight, and the slightly lighter, I guess, furniture on the weapon. This is my calibrated one, and all of the gunners are aggroed already because reasons. I should mention this thing is only injected into the game via a leveled list, so... You'll see it in shops and on enemies, but you'll have to wait until stuff resets. Alright, back into hidden now, so we'll try to pick a target. And that's a kill. That's a confirmed kill right there. Good start. But that's a reload already, so... You know, that was a sneak attack critical, and... A nice little flank. Alright, looks like the jig is up now, so I guess we'll just shoot this. Normally, we'll zoom in, and that seemed to do the job. Look, if I at, if I aim just below their heads and one of them hits the chest and one of them hits the head, that looks like it'll do it. There's the bash animation, by the way. Might see a little bit more bashing than usual, just in case I need to finish up a target with very low health. But the dual stage trigger looks like there's some... It doesn't fire them exactly at the same time. It fires them in like a really quick AN-94 burst, right? So what that means is that you'll get... A little bit of inaccuracy. It doesn't put them in the exact same place, but it's close enough. Pretty not close enough to warrant the use of a scope. Stop that right now. And the bullet sponginess and very hard difficulty is rearing its head here. So what I might do instead of slogging through it like this is I'm going to make it a bit quicker by shooting them in the head with a critical. That'll do the job right there, yes. And that is surprisingly good and effective on the uh, AP front there. And it looks like the uh, reload in third person is just the standard double barrel shotgun reload, which, mind you, is a lot quicker than the first person reload. So if you want to make this thing actually better, just reload it in third person. This one has just the single stage trigger, so we'll actually get a little bit more control over what we're shooting at. But as you can tell, like, the recoil on this weapon, it's not really a problem. I don't care for it too much. It's just not that much of an issue. It'd be more of an issue, again, if, I'd, if there was like a sustained fire thing, but you can only load the double barrels at once. So you'll never get any more shots off than just two before you have to reload. Unless you get some of those mods that add the Fallout 76 perks into Fallout 4, but I ain't doing that. That breaks the balance and stuff. Let's get a bit of gun fuel action happening, shall we? We'll get a critical, and I think this should be good enough. A small damage bonus that we get. Yep, sure is. And we even hit that guy, somehow. I think that was a Vats Penetrator collateral shot there. That's an MG42. I'm going away now. I'm going to hide down here. Okay, he's gone to Stimpak. That's potentially useful. And I'm almost dead. That's great. Come on. I need to reload them quicker. Lucky we're in... <laughs> Lucky we're in uh, slow motion. We've got the bats, uh, the bats thing that protects you of damage reduction. And I guess this is as good as time as any to do a little bit of that there gun fill action. And I might just get a couple of follow up shots just in case these guys don't die. Probably a little bit of a waste on the conscript. We somehow missed that. That's a critical, so he's dead. I think. We'll get the critical on the legendary gunner. And it looks like they end up being critical even though I'm hitting them again. So I guess that all worked out in the end. And that's nerd rage, I think. Right? Yep. So I guess we'll utilize this slow motion to kill this guy. 367. Kill this gal, actually. And I exploded her head right from, or her body from right under her head. And that was kind of satisfying. So, it doesn't really feel like I'm using a weapon that that's that strong. There's no real massive kick on this thing. It's not super exaggerated. Yeah, the, sure, the gun jumps up a lot, but it's over so quickly that your, your camera resets in the middle so fast. It doesn't feel like it's actually punching at all. Combine that with the low damage, this thing kind of feels underwhelming. So we might struggle against a monster, so we might have to take on a single target at a time. Honestly, I'd be kicking myself if I didn't try to take on a, just a Mylurk clean for this, because I think with the damage this thing's got, 
like the vanilla game stuff you could probably kill with one hit every time especially if you're in survival right the only problem would be the ammo weight i think at that point but let's try to do a little bit of sniping and for some reason we didn't even kill that waster from back here interesting guess we'll target you again you again and that's a, going to be a critical so that one will probably do we'll see how luck treats us there we go there's a kill go for a critical here because i think it was only 11 and this is a definite critical definitely making a lot of good use out of gun foo here that's probably the way you want to do this and all right that was weird um clothes just started bugging me out interesting hey look it's a he looks like he's from just ignore that missing for some reason the bashing animation doesn't work i haven't got any animation replaces generally uh bashing animations do work on mod weapons with custom animations but there's something a little bit off here and don't tell me i'm leading the target unnecessarily there we go so that one goes down, and the My Lurker Queen is my next target, so I'll pop a fresh magazine in that. Don't know why I took two out when I only needed to reload one. Maybe they could use that ammo counter system to alter the reload animation. So if you've only reloaded, or uh, surely shot one, the animation will be slightly different. Alright, so it blowing that raider's head off. And blowing the other one to bits, another one clean off. Yeah, that, that that felt like it was powerful, but you know these are only squishy raider, raider dudes. They're not that tough. Myla Queen, however, she's almost got full health, but I reckon we can take her. Not quite. Well, that's disappointing. The thing is, you got to remember about this thing is that you've got Gauss rifles that can easily one shot a Myla Queen like this. Granted, I wasn't sneaking or anything, but. I guess you'd be mad to run up to a Milo Queen and do that anyway. You kind of want to be sneaking. But that's just kind of the way it is. Hey, it's you. I wasn't planning on fighting you, but since the opportunity has presented itself, let's go for it. Now, we might get into a little bit of trouble here because I'm going to be spamming crits as much as possible. And as you can tell, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage here. We'll persevere. Crit is not online. Ow. Now he hasn't mutated yet, which means he's not going to hit me for a ton of damage. Let me just clear the blood off the screen by pausing and unpausing. Ah, well, there's a quick little level up there. Now, if we can get a cheeky little stagger on this fella, that would be nice. Uh, luckily for me, the accuracy on this thing is actually quite good. So we'll just keep on smashing criticals as they come. Hoping for a four-leaf clover proc. Please, if I had mentioned that into the mic, is Fallout going to listen to me? Probably not. Alright, that's mutated now. Notice how we did a little shuffle there. And for some reason, we dodge that. We, we keep resetting the reload animation by jumping in the water, but I'm, I'm saving some HP. This will be a tough fight, I think. So that's us almost dead, and he's not going to jump off the jetty, but I can. That's cool. We'll get that reload happening in VATS. That's a critical. We'll utilize it, but not actually a critical because we've got another one. Maybe that was a four-leaf clover proc on a critical. I don't actually know what was happening there. There's a four-leaf clover. Got to soak up as many criticals as we can get. It's so weird having empty criticals, man. Ah, keep running, keep running, keep running. Ow. Well, that's Nerd Rage, so we'll stop sprinting. We'll gain some of our AP back. And now, we'll try to do some good work against him. Now, that looks a lot better. 631, that's a critical ready. 1500. We're going to have to bolt, because he's going to be right next to us. Hopefully, a stagger will happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what that's terrible. Hopefully he goes for the mysterious stranger. Nope. All right. That worked out in the end and we even got a slow motion jump and shoot there. Okay. So generally I wouldn't want to fight this guy like this, but this is kind of like a war of attrition here and we've actually gone back into caution. Thank you very much Aqua girl. 
I'm going to take a couple of shots here. We'll have a few shots with a critical. We might even end up getting a sneak thing here. Uh, yes, for 1600. I think we'll penalize by range there because that multiplier only giving us an extra. There we go. That's better. Bit of concentrated fire damage. Critical now. And that's done. All right. Probably, if I were you, I'd have a stim pack. There you go. Much better. Much. He's even smiling after that. That's that's some good good attitude. Quite like that. All right. So we'll try to do this big game hunting thing one last time. And our target is going to be this guy. And we're going to try to crit spam him. You might notice how I don't have any criticals. Well, I've got a plan. Uh, I've also done a bunch of chems to speed this up because I think I've established now that this thing, it's not that strong. It's not that strong compared to any automatic weapon with a suppressor in the game. So, you know, it is what it is, but we'll try to persevere here. So you'll note that I've targeted those three mines and the fourth target is the Wendigo. When I shoot these mines, they're all going to blow up, therefore... And what happens now is that I'll actually shoot the Wendigo and every shot that I get will be a critical. Now since a couple of uh, these mines I didn't shoot, or rather the AP that I banked on shooting them never really came through, what you'll find is that when I exit VAT, I'll have some things left and I'd like you to run a little bit please just run you got stuck in the reload animation there and couldn't start running I'm used to battlefield 4 where you can sort of sprint through your reload animation that's good I like that if you sprint in Fallout 76 it cancels your reload animation which is a nice little uh thing there we might have to jump in the water again and use aqua girl or is it aqua girl it's it's one or the other and just to reduce the aggro but he's kind of just standing there we might have this one on ice i think he's given up and thank bloody hell he did because this has taken like 10 takes all right so i think i'm gonna call it a video there for the double barrel rifle and it's a well-made mod it's a it's a concept of this giant rifle that does a whole lot of damage, but honestly, I don't think it works. We could eat this corpse if we want. I forgot to delete the cannibal perk. I need to go through my characters and delete that because, you know, I'm not about to let my angels become Wendigos. That's not good. I actually don't really like this mod. I don't find it all that effective in combat, and it's, it's a glorified double barrel shotgun with just just one round so honestly i don't think i can recommend it but it is a little bit fun i suppose so if you see the gameplay here and that tickles your fancy then that's okay but honestly i'm not super big on this i don't think i'll be using this weapon mod again that being said i can still recognize quality when i see it and this thing is a high quality mod so if you are just looking for a weapon out there that just does something a little bit different and not too worried about the effectiveness of it then i suppose i can suggest this mod to you but if you're looking for something to kill enemies fast and efficiently not something i can recommend cool gun but just not strong enough for my taste thank you very much for watching guys